After the air flows through the instruments, it flows through a regulator designed to regulate the flow through the various ranges of RPM. So if you remember when we talked about the electrical system in the last episode of the podcast, we talked about that there's a regulator on the alternator. Since the alternator and the vacuum pump are being powered by the engine, the engine spins at different speeds. Right? When we change the RPM, it's going to speed up. When we increase the RPM and when we decrease the RPM, it's going to spin slower. Right, So that can be dangerous when, and that's not what we want when it comes to powering components. We want like a steady flow of air in our vacuum system. And then for our electrical system, we don't want a big surge of electricity into our electrical components because it could um, cause a short. So, just like the electrical system had a regulator, the vacuum system has a re regulator.